which it seems like a super simple basic exercise, and it is, but it's so easy to mess up. Two major focal points. One, don't think about lifting your hips. Now that might seem really odd because it looks like a hip lift, right? Some people call these hip bridges. I want to call them glute bridges, so I want you to think about swinging your glutes, okay? So the way we do that is actually pushing the feet, push the feet through the floor, then you're going to get the hamstrings engaged and the glutes. The second thing is, just laying here, you can actually feel the arch in your back. I should take a hand underneath. No good. Because when I do that, if I start my position there and I end my position there, now I've got a really arched back in this position here. And I'm taking away from the glutes and loading the low back in a negative way. So what I want to do is actually imagine the pelvis being like a soup bowl. And it's actually here, it's tilted forward. And I want to get to at least neutral or slightly back. So what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing my lower back into the ground to get a little ab engagement right here. And then I push my heels to the floor. Boom, hamstrings, glutes are loaded. Reset. Now if you can, you can, if you can hold the position the whole time, great. If you feel like, okay, I'm marching again, just reset at the bottom of each rep. Come up, reset. Just like that. Once you've got that down, you really feel the hamstrings and the glutes, nothing in the low back, but now it's getting easy, we gotta load this. So how do you load it? Okay, one is you can just place a load here. Okay, it could be dumbbells, could be a sandbag, could be a kettlebell, could be, you know, any kind of a weight you could sit and apply resistance, okay? I'm gonna show you two ways to use the band, okay? One is if you're going a little bit lighter in the beginning, is you can just very simply take the band and place it across the hips and then push against the band. Now, the disadvantage of this is as you get heavier, it's hard to hold the band down because it requires a lot of back strength, okay? But that's actually a really good thing in the beginning using the, when, you, when you're using the lighter weights okay, because this, you're getting kind of a double whammy here. Even though I'm working the glutes and the hamstrings, it's a nice way to engage upper mid back rear delts to push down, palms down, or you can go to the knife grip like this. So I'm getting the resistance against the bridge, but I'm also having to push the band into the ground, engaging all those upper mid back muscles, which those muscles get neglected a lot. So really great way to kind of, you know, get like a double bang for your buck, so to speak. Now, we want to take the upper back out of it and we start getting to heavier loads. Watch. We're gonna go ahead and take the band around the feet, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull the band over our hips, so it's around the ankles here. Everything else is the same. Get the back set and and release. But you really gotta be careful now that you've got this load, that you're not in, in any kind of load. You're not trying to cheat it up by arching the back. Nope. Get the pelvis going this way. And down. Squeeze those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes. That, my friend, is a really high quality, very effective glute bridge.